So if we just go and switch over to the Knights player, we can see that they've taken five loans already, probably trying to pay for those heavy ships. Plus they are at war, so they may be hoping to make some money from the war to pay off the debts they are currently accruing. And they may be able to expect some donations from fellow Catholic powers who wish to see uh, the Islamic world reduced in power comparatively. Right, the other thing was Denmark. Is it Denmark that is colonizing Vespigen? It is indeed. So they are over in Greenland. So we have our second colonial power. Oh, no, we have, we have two more. So we have Castile taking over Santa Maria Antigua and St. Kitts. No, Guadeloupe and Santa Maria. St. Kitts is this bit. And then we have the Netherlands in Barbados. Very nice place. And then the Portuguese expanding their holdings in Brazil. Although that does seem to have slowed down somewhat. So let's take a look at Portugal, see how their colonial efforts are going. They do have two colonists currently active. I mean, it's early days. Early colonies are very slow to grow. That's definitely one of the things that ratchets up later on. And we have Castile currently with two colonies on the go as well, as we saw. And then the Netherlands or Holland in Barbados. With 500 colonists there already, I suspect that one was actually started last time. So I think that this was a conscious player decision. I just missed it. Like, the touch color is really annoyingly similar to this. So, easy to miss if you didn't see the ships. And I only knew about that because of the ships. Portugal's also in Middle Africa. Portugal is in Middle Africa. Interesting. So let's switch to Portugal so we can... Oops, Portugal. Oh, shanty. So we can see what they can see. And they are indeed in Costa del Ouro, Costa do Ouro, sorry, which is a center of trade. It is tropical, so it's going to grow rather more slowly, but it is a center of trade in the extremely important Ivory Coast. And I actually suspect the Ivory Coast is probably the most important trade node in the game. Gulf of Aden could be as well, but the Ivory Coast... Like, you can shunt all the money you like to the Ivory Coast. If you don't control the output from the Ivory Coast, then any money that you shunt into the Ivory Coast is effectively lost. If you can dictate where the trade from the Ivory Coast flows, you can basically dictate where trade goes. Because it flows into the Caribbean, it flows into Sevilla, it flows into Bordeaux, and it flows into the English Channel. There's basically Spain, England, or France. Yeah, the Caribbean is also quite important, but not as important as the Ivory Coast. Because the Ivory Coast can actually push trade into the Caribbean, and then from the Caribbean somewhere else. Or you could just not send anything to the Caribbean, so the Caribbean's reliance only on the American trade. So Bussy is still fighting against... Oh, no, these are different wars. Najd, Ajam, and Luristan. So the Timurids definitely going quite aggressive to try and solidify their borders here. So they're against Luristan, Ajam, and who was the other one? Najd. Najd are down here. So the Oman's probably doing that. So do Timurids and Oman have an alliance? Who are the Timur allies right now? They are allied to Oman and Jonpur. Interesting. So the Timurids are already putting a flag in India here, fortifying Jonpur. They've not got any agreement, you'll notice, with Delhi, which is one of the areas that they need to conquer in order to form the Mughals. So how likely do we think it is that we'll see a Mughal player? Will Timmy change to the Mughals? I don't know. So Calico is at war against Brittany. So Brittany is finally feeling the ire of the French forces. They are allied to Brabant, but I don't think that the one province minor of Brabant is going to be able to do very much to stop the French approach. we got Oman helping out Timurid, and then Grasse is helping out the French. So the Franco-Anglo-French um, alliance is still going strong. Let's actually, let's take a look at this. So England is currently allied only with France. France is allied with only England, and then they have a couple of vassals. Castile has... Oh, wait, Blue is alliances too. So, in fact, they are allied with Cologne and Florence. France is allied only with England. France is feeling a little bit isolated right now, I suspect. Castile is allied to Portugal, the Papal States. 
uh, Austria, and they were notable for being one of the only ones to stick by Austria until the very end. Portugal allied only with Castile and the Papal States. Papal States allied to Castile, Portugal, Holland, and Trier. Holland being allied to Cologne and Trier, so this is definitely like the minor European coalition. Brandenburg allied to Denmark and Bohemia. And they have a royal marriage apparently with Poland. So were those once allied? They must have been. Brandenburg has a truce with Holland, Trier, and Alsace. And a truce with Belizero, Muscovy, Denmark, and Sweden. Which ends in eight years. What's that from? Not sure. Poland is currently allied to the Ottomans and Denmark, and they've got royal marriages with Brandenburg and Bohemia, so I suspect that there has been a souring of relations between these. There's no real reason to get a royal marriage unless you have an alliance, because that takes up an extra slot. No, this is France. Oh, France is allied to Florence. You were right. Okay, so Sweden is allied to Denmark and Muscovy. <laughs> so most of Sweden's objectives are in Muscovy territory. So this is definitely an unholy alliance right here. Muscovy has played a very good diplomatic game, being allied to the two people who want to kill him the most, the Ottomans and Sweden. Well, actually, Muscovy wants to take Constantinople. The Ottomans have no reason to go against the uh, Muscovites right now. Then Muscovy, we are now the ones that we just clicked on, Genoa are a march, so they don't have any diplomatic relations. Ottomans. The Ottomans are allied to Tunis, Oman, Karakanulu, Poland, and Muscovy. So the Ottomans are really playing a very good diplomatic game here. They are very, very strong diplomatically. They're, they're, they're going to be difficult to take down a peg. Then we have... Who are we missing? Florence. Florence currently allied to France, England... Tunis and Venice. So a good mix of allies right there. I'd expect no less from Val. Venice currently allied to France, England, and the Knights. The Knights, who are you allied to? The Knights are allied to Venice and the Papal States. A good mixture of allies from that as well. Uh, Bohemia allied to Brandenburg and Austria. Royal marriage of Poland. So, yeah, like I said, Poland definitely... Striking a few people off. Cologne allied to Holland and England. That's a very good alliance for Cologne and Trier. Trier allied to Cologne and Holland and the Papal States. Denmark. Did we talk Denmark? Denmark allied to Sweden, Brandenburg and Poland. A little bit of an unholy alliance between Poland and Brandenburg, so I'm not sure which side Denmark would pick if that particular conflict kicked off. The Pope lost Genoa. The Pope has lost Genoa to Florence. I suspect that Florence bought it. Maybe they have some kind of trade deal. Because Florence is a merchant republic. They changed their government. So if we go and click on Florence right now, we can see their government reforms. And they have gone plutocratic, which makes them a merchant republic, which means that they're going to be siphoning up money like there is no tomorrow. And he's already got republicanism, which is even more... Um, Republican tradition. He's got sortition, which is election by lottery, then corruption reduction, and then union of states, which is more global trade power. So a good combination of trade stuff there for Florence. And I would not be surprised if we're starting to see a very, very wealthy Florence starting to emerge. Florence is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth overall. And out of just the players, seventh. Karakanulu is just behind, though. Crikey, that's a wealthy car, Kanulu. I had not expected that. Making a lot of money from taxation and trade. Making more money than Castile. Alright, how is Kara Kanulu doing that? That's... I'm really impressed by that. How are you so rich? Seven ducats in income. You've got an amazing trade system. No, it's because you're in Persia. Yeah, Persia is worth a lot. So currently sharing the money with the Timurids, so I don't know if the Timurids are going to allow them to continue doing that. They've got two level two centers of trade, which is giving them a good share of the money here. The Timurids have two level twos and three level ones. So the Timurids do have more potential to seize more control of that trade, but they're definitely going to be getting a good share from this. And I do wonder if the Timurids are collecting in Persia and Samarkand. So a lot of the 
Timurid goals are about the uh, Silk Trade Network, and they basically have to chain together Yumen, Samarkand, Xi'an, Chengdu, Burma, Laza, Doab, Lahore, into Samarkand. But not Persia. I, I purposely left Persia out because I know that Persia can become very wealthy. So that is not one of the trade nodes that they need to control. You think Florence is going after Italy. Florence has said numerous times he doesn't want to form Italy, but that's mostly just because the Florentine ideas are much better than the Italian ones. But you don't have to choose them. But I think there would be some resistance by the Pope to uh, Florence forming Italy. So these two are definitely like divvying up the land between them. A little bit surprised that Milan still exists, considering how valuable of a province this is. And Milan is not allied to anyone. It's a center of trade, and it's in the... Venice trade node, so it would actually be better for Venice to take than for Florence. But still, it's it's farmlands. It's a really well-developed farmlands. It's it's a like one of the best provinces in the game, at least early on. What are the Africans up to? Uh, uh, Kilwa is actually at war. Kilwa is currently fighting against Saklava and Maravi. Saklava being over here, so he's trying to take control of Madagascar. And then Ethiopia is currently being eaten up by Adal. Ethiopia having rebel problems, or independence problems, I suspect that is. Nope, this is actually a reconquest. So is Ethiopia allied to Medribari versus Adal and Ajaran? I think that they're going to be a little bit out fought here. Because he's not had any manpower, and he hasn't had any manpower for a long time because of his constant rebel problems. Uh, he has fewer mercenaries than I expected, though, to be fair to him. He has actually recovered his uh, forces a fair amount. And there are quite a few forts here, and Ethiopia is extremely defensive. So it is entirely possible that we'll see a victory. Attacking into Agnew, which is across a river and into Highlands. Not the best attack you've ever made, if I'm being honest. This is probably going to be a minus two, depending on the difference in maneuver, which is a level two versus a... Uh, not sure. No, nope, this is just level one. So you avoided the river crossing, but you're still attacking into highlands. But you do quite significantly outnumber them, but still taking probably unnecessary casualties. 1.2 discipline, or tactics versus 1.3. So Ethiopia is slightly outclassed here, though they do have the better morale. And that's only because of the 5% discipline, so it's not a huge difference. And now they're actually going to be defending the Highlands against a Dull coming in. So now the advantage turns to them. Did they get a shift consolidate off? They did not. So their units are fighting under strength at the moment, which does mean they're inflicting less damage than they could be had the situation been slightly better. But a Dull being sent packing there, so a good fight by Ethiopia to win that. Tunis is at war. Tunis is currently fighting against Messina and Mali. So Tunis is making a move to go into Africa and actually has a province down here already in Azawad. So, I mean, Mali is going to be bringing some fairly large armies. Miltech 6, Miltech 6 versus Miltech 8. So Tunis does have the military technology advantage over these two. And Mali is having some real problems with rebel uprisings currently. But they should be able to edge that one, I would say. Although they will take probably attrition casualties. I mean, there's no probably about it. You will take attrition casualties in an offensive war. The English have claimed the throne of Hanover. UK had a P over Hanover IRL. I think you're talking about something else. Okay, fair enough. Yes, they are. Venice is at war. Oh, we have a player war. Player war, player war, player war. So Arachnos is currently fighting. <laughs> Ethiopia is being ganged up upon by Aman, Ferrara, Florence, Nagai, Karakanulu, and the Timurids. Oh, Kaiser, what are you doing? <laughs> You're completely diplomatically isolated and oppressed by rebels and losing wars. Like, this is just 
probably the worst train wreck of a country I've seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but it is. The Amani conquest of not Amman land. Well, I think that you've basically just pissed Amman off by doing that, so Amman's going to take it. And it is adjacent to Amman, so Amman could just gobble all of this up. And they'll probably try to take the crossings of Bab el Mandeb. So that they can get into Ethiopia more easily in the future. Especially this side. Amman is... Oh, really? Amman... You're asking for this. I'm sorry, but you're completely asking for this. Ethiopia went way too ham in expansion. And he was having massive rebel problems, which is usually an indication that you need to consolidate for a while until you've stabilized. But no, he went on more wars of conquest. And this is what happens. Like, you need to have some restraint. And also, provoking your nearest opponent, who is a hell of a lot stronger than you are. Not exactly smart, especially when they've got allies and you don't. And even Florence of Arabia is down here. Ethiopia beating... Oh, that was Adal again, so that's just AI. Ethiopia holding both of these provinces. I've just taken that. This is a dry land, so no... Defensive bonuses from that one. This is also dry land, so nothing from there. And Florence actually fighting naval battle. We have a doll fighting against Medri Badri. This is mostly just light ships and transports, though. And here come Oman's forces. I do wonder if Timurids are actually going to show up for this. I don't think they need to, particularly. Doesn't look like it. They're just chilling and drilling in Timura territories. So this is basically just going to be Amman and Florence. I do find it interesting that Florence is getting so involved in the Middle East. I wonder what his long-term plan with this is. Because they did say that he wanted a province here. Not really sure what he, that gives him, though. Tirana. It doesn't do much for him. <laughs> Except for the fact that he is a merchant republic, so he is now increasing the value of all the trade in this area. Although Venice is already trading here, and Venice is already doing that. So because Venice is here with a 48% trade power, he's giving 24% trade bonus, or production goods produced bonus to everything around. And that can really ratchet up, except for his own provinces. So if we go, for example, to Cairo with their cloth production, goods produced 2.53. Hey, Bussy. Hello. I thought I'd join in. Yeah, so how are things going with Timmy? Uh, they're fine. Game Any... is going a bit slow. Yeah, I mean, it's multiplayer, it's always going to be a bit slow. Yeah. So are you actually going to assist in the drubbing of Ethiopia, or are you just there for moral support? Um, I'm staying away. Fair enough. I'm on... Oh, Florence has based out. They don't need me. <laughs> no, they really don't. <laughs> Ethiopia has just been a massive train wreck from the start, and yeah, it's not really improved. I wonder if Florence took money. Because Florence just peaced out. Yeah, they took a lot. Uh, not that much. It's only got 74 in the bank. Did it pay off death, debt or something? Must have. Although Florence is such an economically strong nation, I do I doubt that they were in debt. He's excommunicated, though. Florence is? Yes, they Ooh. are. Interesting. So definitely some rivalries forming between the Florentines and the Pope. I guess because he took Naples, which the Pope is probably not very happy about. So how have Timurids been? Have, have, have any apparent weaknesses or strengths really shown up yet that you actually want to tell us? Um, nothing yet. <laughs> I uh, vassalized no guy and gave them a bunch of land. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, not like going into the uh, Muscovite sphere of influence with that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe ever so slightly. Maybe so slightly, yes. Yeah, I do see that Muscovy is trying to snake as far east as he possibly can to basically try to avoid your blockade. Yeah, I can see that. Which is probably wise. But it might have different, a different problem soon. Oh, 